Hey, it's Margie with the Asking Spot, and I'm asking what to do with all of these. Um, That's pee pee. Contrary to what they look like, it's just apple juice. Mmm. <sighs> now, generally speaking, the answer is don't buy individual servings, and yeah, we go to Costco and we usually buy everything in bulk. However, one of the members of our family had to go to the hospital, something viral, not the thing that's been going around, more in whatever, long story, yada, yada, yada. They had a special diet when they came out of the hospital, so for the time being, we had to serve them apple juice, and these were available in Costco. So I bought them, and um, they taste great. Everything was wonderful that way. But now, what to do with all these little plastic containers? Y'all recycle. I'm obsessed with air dry clay for the time being, so yeah, I'm gonna do something with air dry clay and these little plastic bottles. But I'm also gonna maybe, hopefully, try a couple of other ideas that might incorporate some more fall decor. We'll see. For the air dry clay part, I'm gonna cut up a few of these bottles and make them at just varying sizes and heights. It occurred to me that the top half of it that I cut off, maybe that would work as a lid. So I'm gonna give that a shot as well. So I'm using the cardboard uh, just to give myself a guide for how thin I'm gonna roll these things out. A couple of them though, I was like, wait a minute, I'm doing not just a one ply, but you were just doing, say, making your own, I don't know, leaf dish. I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> then you'd want it to be the, the width of those cardboards that you put on the side there and just roll it out to that flatness. Um, to keep the rolling pin easy to glide over and everything like that, I'm putting on wax paper on top of the clay and that's making it smoother. Once you have this, uh, I was realizing that because I am putting everything on top of the armature that is the plastic and I'm doing inside and out, I realized I could go with even thinner clay than the normal thickness. So I went ahead and did a few without just that. And uh, working on smoothing these on, I'm using just a regular household sponge Probably I should have tried a makeup sponge. I think that might have done wonders for making it easier to smooth these out. But dipping it in water or I'm dipping it into the slip and then just sliding it around the piece, using it to smooth everything out. The smoother you make things now, the less sanding you have to do in the end. And then it was um, a trip out into the garden to grab some leaves. Uh, just, you know, something that has more, I'm looking for as much three dimension on the bottom side as I can get. Some of these leaves are pretty smooth and they don't leave a lot of indentation. So that's the idea is try to get a leaf that's sort of got a great three dimensional piece there. They're well defined. But that's what you meant. Oh yeah, that makes way more sense. I was like, random. <laughs> Now, this is not using one of those uh, apple cider containers, but uh, I'd seen this out. A lot of people have been doing it, and I thought I'd give it a shot too. It's just making a leaf dish, and this is super, super easy. The thing about my leaf dish, though, that makes me happy is I'm actually using one leaf from a money tree, so maybe this will bring good fortune to whomever gets this leaf. But the idea is pretty much the same as the rest. You're rolling it out, then I'm pressing the leaf into it and I'm cutting around the edge. I'm gonna use a little water on my fingertips and whatnot to smooth out that edge a little bit more and then it's left to dry. The silver lining to having a really humid climate for these to dry in is this has already been 24 hours later and it is still very gooey but not quite as fragile. So I can go back through and just with my fingernail or I could use maybe the back of a spoon, I can smooth out little errors that I had from earlier. So I guess there's a little bonus to the humidity. Chicken and the pieces as they're drying. It seems to be drying well. This one on the other hand, not so much. But that big crack does not mean we're at an end. I'm going to take some of my slip, you know, the watered down clay, and then just sort of patch up the holes here. But um, this piece, I think another reason it might be cracking more than any of the others is I kind of rushed this one and put on pretty thick clay. 
so there's another caution. To help this one dry a little faster, it's been a day now, I'm going to take the same dish I was laying it in, now I'm going to lay it on it, but upside down. And while I've got it in this position, I might check out some of the base part issues. I want to be careful not to press too hard because on the other side is hopefully the leaf imprint. Anyway, one morning a week later. Using air dry clay, as you've seen me do in, well, several other videos, I kind of love doing it. Uh, this is what I've come across on making this. I will recommend DAS, D-A-S, well, this clay for this procedure. Anytime you're using an armature that's either a plastic or glass bottle that you're going to use it around and you're going to cover a lot of space with it, the this brand or any that's a paper-based brand is better because they all shrink, but when they're paper-based rather than an earth-based, they shrink less, so you'll have less cracking. Another cool tip about this is uh, when you're doing it right now, I'm filming this and it's raining and it's been humid and just gross four days. Be prepared for dry time to be, uh, you know, a week or so, at least five days. Do not rush the dry time though. No, you know, hot guns or anything like that because that's going to only cause cracking. Later that night, I couldn't help but wonder. I think I'm going to make some diffusers now with these little clay containers that I've made. Now the one that's a bottle shape, that one is going to get the more traditional diffuser make-it-yourself oil. You're going to look for a carrier oil. That's going to be the base of it. So you're going to want, um, like I've got this almond carrier oil. It doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it. I'm going to add that because the essential oils, you know, it would be overpowering if it was a lot of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, uh, I'll say two thirds cup in this container. And then I'm going to add somewhere between mm, 25 to possibly all the way up to 50 drops of oil and then of course it gets the diffuser reads to put inside it. On this other diffuser it couldn't get much easier. All you're using is rice and your essential oil. Not cooked rice but any rice, any single type of rice you like should work at slowly diffusing this oil. You also kind of need less of the essential oils too. You can add them as you go along because they will evaporate. The idea is that you're using it in more of an open container. So depending on your container size, I think I can get in at least a third of a cup in this one of the rice. I'm gonna drop about mm, 15 drops, but I, I really like the perfumey smell. So I'm gonna put about 15 drops of essential oil and see how it goes from there. And of course, here is where we begin, unfortunately with a lot of these, so still working on projects, but here's where we ended up. If you could, please click subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and thanks so much for watching. We'd love to hear what project you think we should do with these next. I know, please don't tell me I shouldn't have bought them in the first place. Kid was coming out of the hospital, really wasn't thinking straight, so, you know, yes, it won't happen again, but, now that I have them, what to do. And are you doing it with some shampoo bottle or maybe a dishwashing liquid bottle? What's your plans for it? Love to hear it. Please put it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching The Asking Spot. But you know, 
panic kid coming out of the hospital. Yes, she's fine, so everything's... <laughs> the only thing is, is clear plastic, by the way, I have, you know, research, and it is easier to recycle this than, say, an opaque classic, or plastic piece. Blah, 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 blah. Um, now, uh, while those guys are drying, okay, yeah, that works.